Sino sa inyo yung may acne na lahat na nasubukan na? From topical agents like benzoyl peroxide, retinoids, antibiotics, to oral medications like antibiotics ulit, spironolactone, pills, and then finally nag-isotretinone na. Di ba marami sa inyo ayon nyo ng side effects, ayon nyo ng dryness, hair fall, back pain, etc. And kahit na anong gawin nyo, nagdasal na kayo, nagnovena na kayo, e pabalik-balik pa rin yung acne natin. What if meron lang bagong treatment that selectively targets the oil glands, yung root cause ng acne, without pills, without downtime. Ulitin ko ha, without pills, without downtime, and very effective. At yan ang pag-uusapan natin today. The 1726 nanometer laser, the first device of its kind to target acne. Kaya yung mga may acne dyan, keep on watching. Hi everyone! Welcome back to Derm Talk. And this is our 50th episode. Grabe guys, sobrang bilis. And when they told me about it, parang medyo naging sentimental ako. Kasi grabe, I didn't realize that we've come this far. And that means na matagal na kami magkakaibigan. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about something that is very important and close to my heart as a dermatologist. A revolutionary treatment for acne. You know guys, in one of my videos in the past, I answered the question, bakit ang dami ng may acne ngayon? And nagulat ako kasi sobrang overwhelming yung response ng mga viewers who talked about their experience with repeated treatments, yung pabalik-balik nilang acne, and totoo nga yung observation nila na parang ang dami-dami ng may acne ngayon. Because here in the Philippines, marami talagang may acne dahil ang daming factors na nag-contribute to it. Number one is our climate. Sobrang init, sobrang humid. Number two, pollution and stress that we encounter on a daily basis. And of course, genetics, di ba? Hindi naman natin may iwasan na minsan talagang it runs in our families. And me, Minsan, even if we provide the best treatment protocols, the best treatment combinations, meron pa rin talaga sa atin na paulit-ulit yung cycle of treatment at pagod na pagod na sa pagkakaroon ng acne. So now we're gonna break down how the 1726 nanometer laser works, sino ang pwedeng gumamit, what are the results, and why it's such a breakthrough treatment for acne. Let's be real, guys. Acne is super common. As in, I would say 60 to 70% of the patients I see on a regular basis have acne. And according to statistics, about 80 to 90% of teenagers aged 13 to 19 years old will experience acne. At hindi lang yan. Even those in their 20s can also experience acne. Sabi nga nila, about 50%. And meron ding subset of adults my age na nagkakaroon pa rin ng acne. I would say about 20 to 30%. And this is usually due to um, late onset acne, hormones, or their lifestyle. Yung usual treatment journey kasi ng patient na may acne. Simula tayo, syempre, sa mga topical treatments. And when we note that they don't respond to them, we may add oral medication. So dito na po ang pasok mga antibiotics, pyronolactone. And if after a few weeks to months, hindi pa rin gumagana, we take out the big guns. We prescribe isotretinoin. So don't get me wrong, okay? I still give a lot of my patients these medications. But meron pa rin talagang patients na paulit-ulit na namin binibigyan ng isotretinoin, na ulit na rin yung antibiotics, and yet they still get acne. There are those naman na kakastart lang nilang medication, but they can't take the side effects. Isotretinoin is very effective. Marami akong pasyente na gumaling na talaga yung acne nila with that. Kaya lang, it comes with a lot of things. Number one, may mga precautionary measures. We have to do blood tests to determine that your body can process it well. Number two, hindi siya pwede sa balak magbuntis at talong-lalong hindi na siya pwede sa buntis. And number three, it comes with side effects. Hindi naman lahat nakakaramdam nito, pero meron pa rin talaga. What am I talking about? Dryness, hair fall, joint pains. Kaya marami pa rin pasyente ang hesitant to take isotretinoin. That's why I believe na we need something that gives permanent results, that is safe, and with long-term benefit. And sa totoo lang, ngayon sobrang exciting nito because as a dermatologist, ilang dekada na nawalang masyadong new developments on acne. Ever since I was a resident until early, like mga 2023, I have been giving the same treatments to patients with acne. That's why when this new 1726 nanometer laser came out, I was super, super excited. So, what makes the 1726 nanometer laser unique? Yung pag-uusapan natin dito, guys, is the first FDA-approved 1726 nanometer laser, the AviClear. 
Ngayon, maybe you're wondering, ano ba yung 1726? So, 1726 refers to the wavelength. When we're talking about lasers, kasi very specific yung wavelength nila, and they each have a target. For example, liba merong 1064 and 532, the target pigment, and then merong 595, 577, the target redness. Itong 1726 nanometer laser specifically targets oil or sebaceous glands. So, pag nilapat mo yung laser sa balat mo, ang tatamaan lang niya, ang mag absorb lang ng energy are the oil glands. Which leads me to the mechanism of action of the 1726 nanometer laser. Paano ba siya nag-work? First, when you put the laser on top of the skin, it penetrates the dermis. Second, it gets absorbed by the sebaceous glands. Third, it leads to decreased oil gland activity. And number four, causing reduced oil production, which means no clogged pores, no comedone formation, and no increase in proliferation of the cutibacterium acnes bacteria. And based on more recent data, not only is this machine approved for acne treatment, in the mid-2023s, it was given additional FDA clearance for long-term efficacy. So, ibig sabihin, not only did they prove na it's effective for treating acne, na proved din nila na yung results nito actually gives you long-term benefit. So, based on what I've read, some observed their patients up to two years post-treatment and up to 80% of them did not have acne recurrence after that. So, kung titingnan mo yung mga available treatments for acne, it's only the 1726 nanometer laser that targets the oil glands locally, precisely, and drug-free. Okay, counting disclaimer lang ha. So while I'm saying that this acne machine is very, very effective, hindi ko naman sinasabi na yan na lang talaga at yan na lang yung offer natin. Of course not. A lot of my patients always start with the basic acne treatment. At least, ang point ko lang dito is meron na tayong alternative dun sa mga hindi pwedeng gawin yung traditional treatments, dun sa mga hindi na nag-respond at paulit-ulit na pabalik-balik ng acne. At least ngayon, meron na tayong innovation na bagong treatment that has been proven to be safe, effective, and with long-term benefits. So, paano ba yung treatment process? First, we start with preparing the skin. In the US and the UK, they don't put numbing cream. Kaya nung nagsimula akong mag-treat ng patients, hindi rin ako naglalagay ng numbing cream. But then I realized that a lot of Filipino patients expect their treatments to be quite comfortable. So simula ngayon, naglalagay na kami ng numbing cream. So that the sensation is just a little bit of heat with some mild snapping feel. The treatment often takes about 30 to a maximum of 45 minutes. And we recommend completing three sessions spaced a month apart. Patients normally don't experience um, downtime, just a little bit of redness, mild swelling on acne lesions, which fade after a few minutes to hours. But based on my experience, in patients with active acne, especially those in their teenage years to early 20s, they may experience a little bit of purging, beginning one to two weeks post-treatment, which lasts for about one to two weeks. And for older patients naman, they report dryness and decrease in oil production in treated areas. This makes this treatment more friendly compared to your oral medications or your chemical peels. Now, na alam nyo na kung paano nag work tong 1726 nanometer laser, para kanino ba ito? This laser is ideal for number one, patients with moderate to severe acne who are not responsive anymore to topical treatments or oral medications. Second, are those who cannot or do not want to take isotretinoin. Alam ko, meron sa inyong ganyan. And honestly, it's okay, tanggap ko naman kasi marami na ako nakausap na patients na inoffer ko yung isotretinoin and they really don't want for whatever personal reason they have. And this is okay. That's why we are so lucky that we have this new machine. Number three are teens with oily and severely inflamed acne. Ito lang guys, what I like about this machine is that it can be done on patients aged 13 and up. So, dun sa mga teenagers who have severe acne and ayo pa natin silang bigyan ng mga oral medications or syempre, di ba, when you're young, di ka naman masyadong mahilig magpahid. So, this will be a good option for you. Number four are adults with recurrent, chronic, and relapsing acne who do not want or pagod na pagod na na gumamit at uminom na anti-acne medication. Now, para kanino naman to hindi recommended. For me, number one are those with severe nodulocystic inflamed acne needing immediate systemic relief. Usually, pag meron ako mga ganitong patients, binibigyan ko muna sila ng antibiotics for a couple of weeks waiting for them to flatten the lesions before I do the laser treatment. And number two are patients with unrealistic expectations expecting an overnight clearance. 
And dun sa mga perfect candidates for this treatment, ano ba yung mga benefits na makukuha nyo? After the first treatment, you will notice decrease in oil production. After the second treatment, you will notice less newer pimples and redness. After the third treatment, significant reduction in breakouts. And at 6 to 12 months post-treatment, ito na talaga guys yung pinakihintay nyo. Long-term oil regulation and sustained results. O oh, diba, sobrang good news to, especially those with recurrent chronic acne, lalo na sa mga age ko. Kasi marami talagang nagte-text sa akin, nag-message sa clinic na parang, guys, pagod na pagod na ako may acne. Parang 40 years old na ako pero nag-breakout pa rin ako. So, I'm very, very happy to share this new technology with you guys. One of the best things about this treatment is its safety. So, alam naman natin that lasers are very selective and very specific. Meaning, pag tinarget natin yung oil glands, yun at yun lang yung tatamaan. And all the surrounding structures, the hair follicles, the dermis, etc. are protected. Pangalawa, it's FDA cleared and backed by a lot of clinical studies. And pangatlo, it's non-invasive, needle-free, and drug-free. Pangapat, no systemic complications like increase in liver enzymes, increase in cholesterol, and no risk of pregnancy complications. Kaya compared to systemic treatments like isotretinoin, this is really a much safer alternative. So why does this matter, especially in the Philippines? So di ba alam naman natin that acne is a condition that occurs in the oil glands. And dito sa Pilipinas, napaka-init, napaka-humid, which contributes to increased oiliness. As in, yung tipong kung oily ka, you're oily the whole year. Okay? Number two is pollution and stress. So dun sa mga nagko-commute, dun sa mga nag-work araw-araw, exposed to that, all the environmental elements, all of these things contribute to more inflammation. And lastly, genetics. We know naman that having acne or being prone to acne is namamana. And if you have acne genes, you're even more prone to inflammation which leads to more scarring. And for Filipino patients, acne is not merely teenage acne. It actually affects all ages, young and old. It's chronic, recurrent, and progressive. And when not treated immediately and appropriately, can lead to scarring which is actually harder and even more expensive to treat. The 1726 nanometer laser, because it targets oil glands, gives us a chance to target acne at its source. This not only manages flare-ups, but actually changes its long-term course. And this can actually impact acne treatment and management in Asia. Actually guys, matagal lang nga ito ginagawa sa US and UK. Eh. Parang lately lang siya dinala in Asia. And that's why I'm very, very excited and happy that we are one of the first to have this machine in the Philippines. So there you have it guys, dun sa mga nagre-request ng deep dive on the 1726 nanometer laser. Ito na yon and sana may natutunan kayo at nasagot lahat ng questions nyo. Thank you for joining me in my 50th episode of Derm Talk. I look forward to seeing more of you, to making more videos like this. And of course, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications. So see you guys on our next episode. Bye!